Hey guys, this is Vignesh from Brevity. Today we're going to code binary level average on lead code. Let's get started. The question goes something like this. Given a non-empty binary tree, return the average value of the nodes on each level in the form of an array. It, it, is, it essentially means this. For each level, give the average of the value present in the nodes. That is, for the first level or the zeroth level, if you count from zero, the zeroth level is, contains only the root. Hence, the average will be three. For the next level, nine plus 20 divided by two, since there's two nodes, 14.5, like that, so on. We'll be using BFS template code, which Robin has already covered in the previous video, to solve this question. Step one, implement the logic. We'll need one vector of double to store the answer which we'll be returning finally. Now, since this is a BFS based approach, we'll be needing a queue which contains three node pointers. Now, we'll need to count the number of nodes present in each level. We'll be using the variable called size which will store queue's current size. This notes the number of nodes present inside each level. Then we'll need another variable to sum up the values of each node at each level. And we'll initialize that to zero. Actually, let's make it into float. Okay. Now this inner for loop will run for each node present within that level. We get the front of the list and then we'll pop it. Now, if this front is actually a pointer to a node, if this pointer contains left and right childs, we'll add those to the back of the queue. Till here was part of the template. Up next, we'll add this front's value to the sum variable. And once this for loop is complete, it means that we've finished the values of one level. Now we can average that level. Okay, my bad. I made a mistake here. I've written the template down wrong. This template is very clearly explained by Robin. So I'll just be implementing that. That's it. Now we can start off this process by adding the root node to the queue. And let's give it a try. That was the end of step one. We've implemented our logic. Step two, we'll check for edge cases. Now there is only one important edge case that we have to consider. What if root is null? That is, the tree is an empty tree. It has no nodes at all. If there is no root at all, then we can return an empty array, which is ants. Okay, we've encountered an error. Let's see what it is. When you compare the expected and our returned output, you can see one big problem. They have different precisions. This is mostly due to an float overflow or underflow. So if we remove this intermediate and replace with uh, double value, let's give it a shot again. That's it. This is a blazing fast and elegant implementation of BFS. That is the end of step three, debugging. There is not much of an optimization that we can do for this. Hence, we can skip step four. The only thing that you have to note is that we've used auto. Instead of actually typing tree node star, auto will automatically derive the type from q.front, which will return tree node star. Please like, share and subscribe to Brevity. See you guys in another one.